Hello everyone, this is Tina. I spent in the past uh, 10 or 15 minutes. I recorded it for the one-to-one -one bi directional relationship. Then I realized I didn't press start recording button. And after I finish, there's no video. <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's uh, do again, okay? So this video is talk about one-to-one -one bi-directional relationship and we continue using the join column, okay? If you watched uh, the one-to-many uh, and the many-to-one bi-directional relationship, you probably already know how to do it now. The, the idea is exactly the same. So now we continue on previous demo one to one unidirectional join column, and in the address we have uh, in the customer we have address, and now we since we are bidirectional under the address we will also have know for about the customer right, and uh, now to be to have a bidirectional relationship here we also add a one to one. And as we know, when we have a bi-directional relationship, we have to give up the control on one side. Okay. If we don't give up the control, it is gonna cause what? It is gonna cause two unidirectional uh, relationship in the database. And uh, the problem is when we customer to create a, when happening trying to create a customer table and it's gonna create a foreign key address ID under the customer, which is a join column. And now when uh, Hibernate is trying to create address table for us, it will see, okay, it's one to one. It will also make what? It will also make a join table, okay? Called a customer underscore ID under the address. Okay, so you have two join columns in these two tables, one in customer, one in address. In this case, it creates a two unidirectional because if you search address under the customer, based on customer, it was using this foreign key. And if you search a customer under address, it's gonna using customer underscore ID, which is the foreign key under the address. If your data is not consistent, then it's gonna have problem. Okay. If you still don't understand bi-directional versus two unidirectional, you can take a look at my previous videos. Okay. So after we add, we have to add the mapped by, okay, uh, to solve the two unidirectional relationship problem. And which side to add the mapped by? It based on, you can add uh, either side. And uh, most of time in a project, we think customer is more important than address. So we want to customer to control the relationship, okay? so. We can add mapped by here on the address to give up the relationship. It doesn't matter, okay? You can add here, you can add here. So in this case, when we add a mapped by and uh, the table generated gonna be the same, exactly the same as we're using the one to many join column. Okay, let me run this one. <laughs> and uh, let's run here. Okay, refresh. You will have ID straight zip code, and the join column is add under the customer. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, you can see address ID is here. And the next, uh, we just do a small change. Okay, I will change it to add the mapped by here, either side you like. And when we add mapped by, you cannot add a join column because mapped by means give up control. 
don't do anything on my side. And join column means uh, customize the join column. But, but you give up here and you want to customize here. That doesn't make sense. They kind of have intention is, a comp is uh, uh, the intention for these two are together has a conflicts, right? So by doing that, we still need to change. Okay, this one is not the address. This one should be this one, customer. Okay, and I run one more time. So you will see under the customer, there is no join column, but under the address, you will have one join column. Foreign key. Foreign, foreigner or foreign key. Foreign. Okay, run. Okay, they say customer ID, first name, last name, and address is gonna have a foreign key, customer ID. Okay, so that's it for the one to one by directional join column. If you understand the one to many, many to one, this is uh, pretty simple for you. Okay, so thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.